Hi, today's recipe is Yu Tiao or Chinese Donut. It's a very simple and easy snack to make. It only uses six ingredients that's commonly found in the kitchen. Hi, I'm Loretta Lee of Nonya Recipe. Nonya Recipe is a fine place for fabulous food and I share with you my food journey. Let's check out the four tricks that we use to make this very simple Yu Cha Kui, which we call it in Hokkien or Yao Cha Kui in Cantonese. So let's go. We will need 250 grams of plain flour, half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon bicarbonate of soda. In a bowl, mix all the ingredients. Add 865 ml of plain water. Use a spatula or a pair of chopsticks to mix. You can add in the water in several goes. If the mixture is too dry, you can add some water. And if it's a bit wet, there is no need to add all the water. Well, tip number one is we don't use eggs. Tip number two is we don't use yeast. This is the consistency. It's soft and mix until the dough doesn't stick to the spatula. Coat your hands with one teaspoon of the cooking oil. Gently knead the dough with your knuckles while turning over a few times. Do this for one or two minutes. The dough is not completely smooth, but that's okay. Cover it with a clean film. Let it rest in the fridge for 20 minutes. Turn the rested dough on a floured surface. Gently press the dough into a rectangular shape. Then fold it into half from bottom up. Stretch the dough a bit wider. Then fold the right edge to the center and the left over to the right. Repeat and roll into a log. Tip number four, there's no hard kneading. If you're still around, please knock and hit the subscribe button. Wrap it with cling film and leave it in the fridge for at least two hours. You can even leave it overnight. During this time, the protein will relax and the dough will be very soft. Flour the working surface. Unwrap the dough and stretch it to a long rectangular shape. It should be about 2 cm thick, 7.5 cm wide, and about 45 cm long. Or about 1 inch thick, 3 inches wide, and 20 inches long. You can use a rolling pin to help you to do this. Then let the dough rest for about 10 minutes while you prepare the oil. Heat up the oil to about 200 degrees Celsius. Cut the dough into 5 cm strips or 2 inches. Dab the cut edges with flour to prevent it from sticking. Wet a skewer or chopstick with water. Then wet the center of the piece of dough with a skewer. Do it on alternate pieces. Then stack a regular one over the one with the wet center. Press the center together in the middle lengthwise with a dry chopstick or skewer. Hold both ends and stretch the slack strips, then carefully lower it into the oil. Be careful not to splash. When it comes to the surface, roll it around continuously with a pair of chopsticks. Fry the dough until it stops expanding and is evenly golden. Repeat the procedure to cook the rest of the dough. For home cooking, I suggest frying only one at a time, and the most is two. Tip number four is very important. You must get the oil temperature right. If the oil is not as hot as it should be, the yu tail will not puff up nicely. My induction stove does not give the proper temperature at times, and I do have many failures. Here you go, the lovely, puffy, crispy yu tail. Well, isn't that easy to make? and it's vegan too. Here are the four tricks or tips. No eggs, no yeast, no hard kneading, and the correct oil temperature. I like to eat mine dipped in coffee as 
we usually do when we were kids. And I also use it to top my chicken porridge or fish porridge, or we call it gong ji. People in Hong Kong, China and Taiwan love this for their breakfast served with hot soy milk. If you find my video useful and of value, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. If you'd like to have more easy recipes, please click here. And until the next time, I'm Loretta Lee. Nonya Recipe. Nonya Recipe is a fine place for fabulous food and I share my food journey with you. So until the next recipe, until the next round. Thank you then. Bye. Thank you. 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 Thank you.